Hey, first grade parents, can you believe that it is May? Only one more month and your babies are going to be going to second grade. Wow. Anyway, so as we take a look at our May parent packet, I want you to know that during the summer, it's going to be wonderful if you've kept some of those previous packets and pull them out, play them with your child. That way you can keep those skills fresh in their mind and they'll be ready as they go into second grade. Now, our literacy game this time is called our controlled spin game. Now, that old bossy R, we know when it comes after a vowel, it makes an R controlled sound. For example, A R, R, U R, I R, E R, ER, O R, OR. So your child has been exposed to those at school. They've practiced those, but they're not easy. So as we continue and through May and throughout the summer, pull this out. It's a cute little tic-tac-toe game, and it also gives them practice with those R-controlled sounds. So let's take a look. We've got a spinner in here. You just make your little spinner. We have a tic-tac-toe board game. You're going to be given these tic-tac-toe pieces. And then you're also going to be given this bossy R sheet. What you do, have two players, spin it. It's an ER. So I just find an ER word on here. For example, this one is perch. So I got it correctly. I am the X's. So I'm going to put my X right there in the middle. Then, of course, you take a turn modeling that same thing and you go back and forth. If you do not say the word correctly, you don't get to put your tic-tac-toe piece on the board. Easy game, fun game. Like I said, pull out those other games we've given you and practice those throughout the year. Now let's take a look at our math game we have this time. Let's take a look at our math game. The title of our math game is Do Regroup or Don't Regroup? That is the question. Now, what we have is we have a mat. We also have the directions. And we have two sheets of cards, equations, addition equations. So, what we are working on is getting your student to understand when we're going to regroup, when that one's column is more than nine, and we've got to take it and move that 10 over to the tens column, and when we don't need to regroup. Now, this is not an easy concept. Hopefully, your child has been working on that, that previously, you know, we've had a lot of making 10s. When we have 10, we move to that other 10s frame. So we're hoping that that's going to help them get that number sense that they need as they're working through this. These directions are gonna be very important. And this right here, this talk it out, that's going to help you as a parent help your child. So let's take a look at this first one. Okay, 23 plus five, have your child say 23 plus five. The first thing we're gonna do is add these two numbers in that ones column, okay? 
So three plus five gives you eight. Now your child may need another strategy to know that. Let them figure it out. Okay, so now we've got eight in that first column. So let's look. Well, if it's nine or less, don't stress. It means you're not going to regroup. 10 or more, we're going to have to split up and take some next door. So, this is nine or less. All you're going to have them do initially is put it in the right column. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. 76 plus 4. First thing we do, 6 plus 4. 10. Mm, is that 10 or more? Yes. So we're going to put it in the do regroup column. Now, you will continue to do this. Once you feel like your child's got a good um, concept, they understand when they're going to regroup, when they're not going to regroup, then take these, get some pencil and paper, make sure you talk about lining the ones column up with the ones and the tens column. So that's going to give me eight. I did not regroup, so I just go to this tens column and I add, bring down, there's nothing to add to my two, my two. So 23 plus five gives me 28. Now, let's look at the next one, 76 plus four. Well, this is going to give me 10. So I know I have to move that 10 over here to the tens column. So I'm going to put my zero there to hold that place. I'm going to put a one here representing my 10. So one plus seven, which is really 10 plus 70, right? One plus seven is going to give me eight. So once they understand whether they're going to group, or regroup, excuse me, or not, then let them begin to complete the addition problems. Now, this is a big concept. And so I would play this game. Maybe the first time you play it, you just decide what you're going to do with the grouping. Get it out again. If you feel like your child understands that, Nine or less, don't stress. Ten or more, split up and go next door. Once they understand that, then start having them do some problems like that. Now, take it outside. Let them do the problems in sidewalk chalk. Make it fun for them. Do some different things over the summer to just reinforce this addition concept. That way, you'll be ready to go come the beginning of second grade. Now, as always, we want to thank you for partnering with Lawrence County Schools as we work to develop proficient readers, writers, and mathematicians. See you in second grade.